A major Southern California city tonight is considering a mandatory spay and neuter ordinance for all animals. KCAL's Bobby Capel joins us live from Pasadena with more. Bobby. That's right. Pasadena City Council member who introduced this legislation is in effect targeting pit bulls. He says it freely because he wants the attacks to be reduced, but that is not allowed under state law. So instead, it will cover all dogs and cats. I mean, you're taking the rights away. Benjamin Flores and Sal Reyes brought their pit bulls, Dozer and Cool Hand Luke with them to City Council in Pasadena tonight to try and fight a proposal that would require all dogs and cats to be spayed or neutered by the time they reach six months old. Instead of just saying, you know, all, all dogs have to be spayed or neutered, you know what, let our dogs pass a test, show non-aggression, then, okay, your dog passed, then you could, you could keep on and go on. In my view, we have an obligation to protect the public safety. Pasadena City Council member Steve Madison introduced the measure tonight, saying that more than 90% of fatal dog attacks occur when male dogs haven't been neutered. High testosterone levels can re result in very aggressive behavior. So if you can't ban this very dangerous breed, at least you can require spay and neuter. PETA supports the proposal. By requiring that all animals be spayed or neutered, um, they're not able to breed anymore, which means that you reduce the population quickly. But some dog owners who showed up tonight say this move goes a step too far. And irresponsible own owners are the ones that needed to be spayed and neutered. Thank you. <laughs> Now, so far, no vote has been taken in the city council chambers. Debate continues even at this late hour. They wouldn't be the first city to do this. In fact, several other Southern California cities have done it as well, including the city of Los Angeles and Santa Monica. We are live tonight in Pasadena. Bobby Capel, KCAL 9 News.